Hi. Welcome to an unveiling. Um, got my haircut, and when I went downtown to get my first haircut in over a year, a professionally done haircut, I went into one of the guitar stores, music stores downtown, small place that um, has quite a few of the new instruments, but they've got a, a wide range of instruments, mostly stringed, but they do also have some keyboards and drums and things like that. I saw this hanging on the wall. And um, I already have a Quart CL1000, which is a still a quilt top, single cutaway, same basic guitar. It's not a hollow body like this. It's a complete solid body. Um, same style bridge. The pickups have been switched in this guitar, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, it still has the matching headstock. It, it did have a, a sunburst type finish, but instead of a, a red burst, it was more of the cherry sunburst with kind of the yellow, orange to red type uh, color scheme. When I saw this on the wall, immediately grabbed my attention because I really do like my other uh, court guitar. Picked it up and I played it for a little bit. Used guitar. Beautiful condition. As I mentioned, I knew that pickups had been changed um, because they obviously weren't the, the gold solid uh, covers on the hum, uh, on the on the pickups, solid uh, without the little cutouts and the foil type inserts that this has, and this has that vine inlay that is just gorgeously done, binding on the fretboard, which I'm usually not a big fan of, but this doesn't feel bad. Binding on the top of the guitar. This one is a complete hollow body. The other guitar that I have with F holes is what they call a semi hollow, and it has a solid uh, piece of wood going the full center line of that guitar. And that, that's another brand and everything. This one is completely hollow. Um, so a little bit different sound, and the pickups that they put in this are slightly different sounding also. I have the guitar plugged into my Rivera Suprema amp, 112 speaker. I have that being picked up through a basic Shure microphone, going into a Focusrite interface, into GarageBand for the tones, and I'm going to see if that does a better job for me. I will mention one thing on this guitar that whoever put the pickups in did a very poor job on wiring. It's not wired correctly, so uh, I have to keep it at both the volume and the tone knobs turned all the way up to get decent sound out of it. We're going to start with bridge pickup. Um, clean channel on my amp. Just some basic playing.
middle position. position. go to, that was what they called their English channel, excuse me, American channel. This is more of an English type sound, a little bit more drive, not much. Bridge position. So, wiring-wise, what they've done, um, these are humbucking pickups, and they're supposed to be, I believe, from Guitar Fetish. If I, I looked up some things online, and they look like, a, I believe, a Guitar Fetish pickup. Humbucking pickups. They also make the same thing in a single coil mo uh, model, but these seem to have two different coils, two different magnets, or series, uh, two different magnets in the same deal, two different coils. Um, but there's some noise, and when you start to turn down the volume, it you get... Maybe halfway down, it just it, it it takes quite a bit to get any volume out of it after you turn it down. Maybe a quarter a quarter turn. control is different, is just different than I'm used to, and they didn't hook up the coil tap, unfortunately. So that didn't get done. I am going to have a friend of mine uh, who I've had do some wiring before take a look at it, 
and see what he thinks and see if that can be remedied easily. It's not the easiest to work on these types of guitars because everything has to go in and out of either the F holes or through the pickup holes um, when you take the pickups out and kind of fish everything through because there's no uh, plate here that, um, or a cover to get to the electronics easily. It's all in a big hollow box. So sound wise, I like it quite a bit. Um, switching to real clean. Overall, it's got a really nice sound. It plays beautifully. I actually had to raise the action up a little bit from where I got it. Um, after I got it home, things settled a little bit and I was getting a little bit of um, I might still be getting just a little tiny bit of hitting the, the next fret up on that. Um, I might try raising I might try raising the the treble side of the bridge just a little tiny bit more and see if that helps but fully adjustable it's not exactly a wraparound tailpiece the strings enter through the rear of the bridge come up through a hole very quickly and then up over adjustable saddles each saddle is adjustable done to it so far has been to change strings. Um, the strings that were on there were, they seemed new, but they didn't seem to be great condition or great quality, I guess I should say. Um, so, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, just wanted to share with you a little bit my new find and, and the guitar that kind of followed me home from my haircut. Um, Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Click the little bell down there but next to the subscription button so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video, most of which are centered around the Native American style flutes um, and the music that I make. With these being the centerpiece, it could be playing them solo, it could be playing them with other instruments like this, drums, things like that. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. Take care.